going to be creating a word count. So this is going to be the same as when we go under the tools, word count within the document it tells us how many words are on the page. So right now there's 70 words on the page. We're going to run the word count and we're going to see how many words are being returned back. So we've got a word count of 70 and at the bottom, it's also appending the word count of 70. So right now there's actually 73 words because we've added in the word counter at the bottom as we're appending the paragraph and counting the words within the word values. And this is replacing and updating that text output within the document. So there's a couple different ways to add the word counter value into the document. So the first one that we're going to be showing is that we're going to be selecting the first paragraph on the page and simply updating the new value within the text content. And the other one is where we're going to be appending to the document itself and adding in the same text where we've got the word counter and the word length. We're going to be selecting the body of the document, getting all of the text from the document, replacing any double spaces within the document, and then splitting all of the spaces in order to create an array. And within that array, we're returning back the word length. And that's all coming up in this lesson. Go into your Google Drive and then select New, Create a New Document. And this is a document that we're going to be attaching the bound script to that will allow us to count the number of words. And this is all going to be done with apps script word counter and add in some text within the Google Doc. And then going under extensions, select apps script. That's going to open up the Google apps script editor. And within the editor, we're going to create a script that's going to look into the document and return back the number of words within the document. Give the project title a name. I'm going to call it word counter. Within the script editor, let's update the default function and just give it a name. I'm going to call it counter one. So what we want to do is we want to select the only just the words that are currently within the document and getting all of the text out of the document. So let's go ahead and we're going to select the text content from the document. Let's get the body contents of the document. We're going to set it as a variable named doc. And this is where we use the document app. And we want to get whatever the current active document is. And we can do this because this is a bound script bound to the document that we just created. We also want to get the body contents. So selecting the get body will return back the body of the document. You can also check within the logger log just to make sure that we do have the document that's being returned back. We can run the function within the menu here, within the shortcut menu, select run, and then in the drop down, select the function by its name that you want to run. And this is going to open up the execution log. We need to accept permissions for the script in order to run and be able to interact with our document. These are the permissions that are being accepted. You can at any time select the Google account, and this will bring you to the myaccount.google.com forward slash permissions, which will give you a listing of all of the permissions that you provided to any script, and you can remove them at any point. So once you're okay with allowing permissions, just hit okay, and we see that we're getting returned back the document body section. So now that we've got the document body, we can get the document text by using the get text method from within the document. Within the dropdown, select the get text method, and this is going to return back the entire document as a block of text. And then we can use some JavaScript methods in order to split and replace some of the content into an array. And that way we can get a length of the number of words that are currently contained within the document. So run that one more time we get word counter. So whatever words we've got, and we'll just add in some more. So this way it, it will count all of the words. This one here, it's going to only count as one word because of course we don't have any spaces. Let's uh, run the code again. And that returns back all of the content that's currently within the text content within the document. So what we want to do next is we want to split the text content and return back the number of words. So we won't have the words yet, but we're going to do a split. So we call it words one. And then selecting the document text content that we just extracted 
out of the document app and getting the body of the text. We want to select that and we're going to be doing a replace. So we're going to be doing a split and splitting according to spaces. So this will give us an array of words. So run the counter one more time. So that gives us the array of all of the words. If we want to find out how many words there are, we can select the words length. So that gives us 46 words as a total. Right now within the document, we can add some words and we can run that again. So now we've got 50 words. If we go under tools and we select word count, so that's going to give us 51 words. And the reason that is, is because occasionally you will have extra double spaces and that's going to be counting it as words. So if we go down to four, we remove out all of the double space words, we can see that that's counting it properly. So the reason that we have that extra count as 51 is because we've got an extra double space and we're counting the spaces, not exactly the words. So we'll make a regular expression to catch those. So in order to get it more accurate, what we can do is we can update the document text. So let's create another document text. And then we can split the document text one using the words. So we're taking the document text and doing a replace where we're replacing all of the spaces that have more than one space with just the regular space. For spaces plus, place those globally with just a regular space. And that gives us the 51 words. Same thing that we had under the tools one. And then you can always log that within the function. You can also add it to the document. So you can create some text content within the document where you can add content to it. So appending the content to it, creating another variable there. Within the new text variable, we're going to be appending the document. So we can return back pay it paragraph object and select the append paragraph. And this is the content that we can add in as a paragraph. So this is just going to be selecting the paragraph and appending it and returning back the length of the words. I'm going to be also using the backticks so that I can use the template literals. And the backticks are to the left of the one key on most keyboards. So let's run the code again. And that gives us at the bottom, the word counter. If you want to add it near the top, you can add in a new variable that we can select the first paragraph within the page from the document body. You can go and get the paragraphs. It's going to return back an array of the paragraphs. And in order to select the first one, that's going to be with the index value of zero. And we'll log that out into the console first. So this is the top text area. And what we're going to do is we're going to just replace that first text area with the word count. So this is just selecting the paragraph and then within the paragraph. So once we've got the top text, so we want to set the text and we're going to set that as the word count. I'm going to update this into a variable. So that will be a string that we can use. So we don't have to retype it both times. And now let's run the code. So it's adding in and it's updating the word count. So every time we're running it, at the bottom it's adding it because we're doing an append of the paragraph, that the top is just selecting that first paragraph and then updating it with the new word count. And the reason that the word count is increasing is because we're always adding three additional words there at the bottom that's telling us how many words there are within the document. So go ahead and try it out for yourself where you can select the word count within your Google Apps script and also display it within your document.